Welcome to this week's Down Home with Tina show. So excited because I have got Connie Smith coming up and we are going to talk about things that are going to happen at the upcoming Fairfield County Fair. And then also somebody with the Samaritan Center that is the adult day services. We're going to find out about that. So if you have a loved one that you're looking to find something for them to do, if they're getting bored and things like that, or you need just a little break, stick around because we'll have that for you right here on the Down Home with Tina show. The Frankie Smith Funeral Home and Crematory in Lancaster and the Johnson Smith Funeral Home in Baltimore have a long and wonderful history of serving our community. Feel free to give us a call at 740-653-0652. Stop in and see us at either of our two locations, 405 North Columbus Street in Lancaster and 207 South Main Street in Baltimore. Respect for tradition, regard for change. What makes Fair Hope what it is, is our staff. It's always a question that we ask, why do you want to be here with us? And what they most always say is, you've touched my life this way. You know, you took care of this person, or I've seen what you've done, and I want to do that. And so the staff that have been here know what it takes. They've been on the other side. They see what it takes to make someone comfortable, to make the family comfortable, and really what kind of support they need. And so I think that's what really makes Fair Hope what it is. Welcome back to Down Home with Tina. One of my all-time favorite people is with me today. I have known her. I know it has been now, oh my goodness, 13, 14. Actually, oh I think, Connie, I think it's 14 years. Because right when I started radio was my very first year, 2010, yes. Yeah. So it's been almost 14 years because you were one of my first people to get when I was doing radio. I'm yeah. sorry, Connie Smith. She yeah. is Senior Fair Board Director, yeah. one of them, with the Fairfield County yeah. Fair, and you yeah. have so much going on. Yeah, oh, well, you yes. know, I'm one of 16 directors. Yeah. So we have a lot going on because we're getting ready for the biggest party in Fairfield County, yes. the Fairfield County Fair. Which is why my heart is so set on having you all on each and every year from yeah. me beginning and my very beginning. You yeah. were the... Didn't you get me the um, the pygmy we, goat advisor? We like got the you. Very first we got you. Of my all show kinds ever, of things, you guys. Yeah. I mean, this is what, how far we go back. We brought you um, all kinds of Ugh. guests, like Cattlemen's Group. We have brought you youth. We brought you all kinds of things. But I think what our listeners need to hear and they need to understand that is a chance. Anytime we get in front of a microphone, we get in front of a camera. It's really positive reinforcement for some of these junior fair youth to learn how to speak in public. Because that's where, I mean, with 4-H, right. in the very beginning, I mean, they do the projects and right. it's standing up at some point and talking in front of others. Well, a lot of the projects that have, were judged in the summer that you see in the display barn will be projects that were interview judged. Mm -hmm. So the child did the book, they did a poster, and then they had to go in front of a judge and explain what they learned and explain what they're doing. The same thing if you see a child leading a calf around at the fair or leading a pig around. Nine times out of ten, the judge is going to stop and talk to them and want to know a little bit about the animal, uh, you know, just because they are trying to assess the animal, they're trying to assess the child's knowledge. But, you know, the fair is huge in a lot of different ways. Um, it's, it's about youth, don't, don't get me wrong. Yeah, Junior yeah, Fair is yeah, a yeah. huge, huge component, but you know, there's the art hall side. You know, there's those family traditions of, you know, we've always entered pies and cakes and candies and mm -hmm. whatever, and then there's the tallest weed contest. And there's all kinds of different events. And then the grandstand entertainment, you know, yeah. All it's, kinds for of stuff. it's for everybody. It's for everybody. Everyone, yeah. all ages. Absolutely, it's, absolutely. No, yes. Yeah, and it's a tradition. And, and you know, Tina, I think I've shared with you before, and I think it's really important that people learn that the fair, whether you like funnel cakes mm -hmm. or whether you like French fries or whatever you go to to eat fair food, mm -hmm. take a trip around the grounds 
Because for some families, it's their one brush with agriculture. Yes, yes. It's their one brush a year. I say, and, and I've always felt this way, and I know it's because of the feel and the atmosphere, and I know that it is the first day that's the um, Sunday yes. of Fair Week. Mm -hmm. The reason why I th love the energy of that is, if and you've got to be a people person if you do decide to go out there, mm -hmm. but that's the time to go hit the barns. Yeah. Like, I won't even go into the fairway or go to any of the other places like I would on that Sunday because some of these 4-H kids, it's their first project, and they're so excited to be there yeah. and be a part of something so huge for Fairfield County. And I love to see there's the joy in their faces. Well, they, they're excited to be there. They're excited to bring their animals. Uh, it, they're not tired yet. You know, <laughs> exactly. By Come like, Friday, they're yeah, like... <laughs> like Friday is pretty bad, but uh, they're not tired yet. And, and I think that's really the joy of it all. Um, you know... Everybody's still smiling on Monday. Yes. There's been no yeah. competitions yet. <laughs> and so yeah. everybody's still having a really, really good time. And, yeah. and, you know, believe you me, girlfriend, you and I know this, <laughs> the power of a smile is huge. Uh, yes. It is. The it power is. of a smile and positivity is huge. Yep. And, and, you know, I think I'm, being one of 16 directors, I really feel like uh, we all really look forward to this particular week of the year. Oh, it, yeah. It's a lot more work than I ever thought it would be, but we enjoy it as much as everybody else does. It's a it's a homecoming. It's a reunion yeah. for a lot of folks. Yeah. We yeah. love it, it for that. And it is hard work, but it, it's worth it, isn't it? Oh my gosh. You know, I think any time you can keep people learning, whether mm -hmm. it's baking that cake or whether it's uh, learning about roses or learning yeah. from the beekeepers in the art hall. Anytime you can challenge people to be lifelong learners and we can keep the youth learning, keep their parents learning. You know, a lot of these contests happen before the fair. Uh, yeah. We have about 120 kids entered in muscle quality performance contests mm -hmm. where they're actually raising a project to put on somebody's plate from farm gate to plate. And those kids are really learning what it's like because yeah. the, the animal is evaluated for its m meat and muscle quality. Right, right. So, so well, and, and when we had said earlier, it's for all ages, and, and you were saying about those who continue to learn, just because somebody may have won first prize in the baking competition for their cake, doesn't mean they're not going to continue to try to do even better mm -hmm. next year and and strive to have even a better cake. Like, well, what can what, they do to even make this better for themselves? And do that's you what we want to talk about competition. That. Go to the art hall <laughs> and watch. You're not really allowed to watch the judging, but go to the art hall for the pie and cake auction <laughs> on Monday night. And each participant is allowed to say a few words about oh, what okay. they learned and how yeah. they. Uh, created this dish and it could be a family favorite uh my husband actually loves raisin pie i'm not sure exactly <laughs> why but he does i, know, and I gotta agree yeah, with yeah. you I don't know and so really. like so we always try to get the raisin pie well there's a special dish the pie comes baked in and there's this and there's that oh, so funny. it's very very competitive mm -hmm. on both sides of the fairgrounds oh that's funny super competitive yeah <laughs> I know we have so much to talk about. We've got fair entries. Yes, in those they times. are due uh, September 25th. So if you're thinking about it, okay, you know it's it, it's too late. September, the end of September, it's too late. They don't okay. take late entries. And this is for what? What are these? But this is for, for the pies, the cakes, it is. the candies, what about? Okay. everything in the art hall, everything open class. Uh, whether you're taking an open class pig, you're taking. Uh, open class cattle, uh, and then mostly all the entries in the art hall. And you know, here's the interesting thing. Um, farm products, which is the corn, the, the tomatoes, the yeah, peppers. Okay, yes. Those guys in the art hall are handling, in each of those departments, about a thousand entries per year. Wow. So you think that, um, you know, you go to many other fairs across the state, we, there's no art hall like the Fairfield County Fair Art Hall. Right. And it's such a historic building anyway. And then, you know, think about uh, you walk in that front entrance and there's all those collectibles. 
Mm -hmm. You know, all those collections of things. So um, there's so much history, not even in the buildings, but of the items and the things that yeah. people bring to our fair. There's there's history in that. There's history in the build in the grounds itself. You're going to see a renovated uh, Lancaster band booster stand, you know, where they serve all their food in that little round mm -hmm. building. Yes. Well, we had a generous donor who helped get that renovated and put new windows in. But right beside oh. there is a big brass plaque that talks about that was the very first Civil War encampment. So really? if you never do that, you know, it's right there. You you need to read it. Uh, and, and so you, cool. there's that history there that I don't think you know about unless you really study it and you study the history of the barns and, yes. and you understand you know like our forefathers I.J. Collins mm -hmm. anchor Hawking mm -hmm. his name is on a lot of barns and we don't know what we don't know unless we go and seek it and exactly. ask it and find out from yeah. those and that's the week to do it that because is, all those folks that know a lot about it yeah. are there on the grounds Absolutely. that week. You know, the schoolhouse, the log cabin mm -hmm. was restored last year. So lots of different things to see. Uh, I can't encourage people enough. All the grandstand tickets this year are online. Okay, uh, great. Brand new event, uh, National Tractor Pullers is coming okay. with a big tractor pull show. Okay, and that's nice. on Monday evening. The rodeo is back. Okay. Um, of course, Combine Demolition Derby and the and then the Auto Demolition Derby. Lots going on in the grandstand Horse in the races evening. Also. Horse races. Yeah. Uh, all, you know, there's, there's a couple days of horse races, a rain okay. date on Friday of Fair Week, and then junior fair mm -hmm. auction yeah. Thursday and Friday so it's one big week full of activity yes but if you want to get your kids to touch agriculture this is a week to do it absolutely in fair books the fair, fair books, books have all this info the fair books have all the information they're yes. all at the Fairfield County Fair Office 157 East Fair Avenue okay. it's also all online okay so you can go fairfieldcountyfair.org and find everything there new and updated website okay office hours um, go ahead and just I know it's probably 8 on the website 8:30 to stuff. 4 uh, okay. up until fair up until fair week okay. and then fair week I think it's 24 hours a day even okay. though nobody wants to admit that it they is a yeah. lot yeah. yeah okay so they still have the senior day and kid day and things Having like that, all that so everything nothing. pay attention to that folks because yeah. there are certain days for certain things if you don't want to be there with all the kids then you're not going to be there school that day. day. I would yes. if you if, if you you're don't want to go with don't kids, like the, yes. don't go on school day. Yeah, yeah. senior citizen day. I yeah. think there's a reduced uh, rate to go mm -hmm. on senior citizen oh, day and, and veteran day. I think there's veteran yeah, day. Yeah, that's or Monday, or Monday and a big veterans veteran assembly yes. uh, in the big tent by the log cabin. Yes. And that veterans assembly is at 2 p.m. Fairfield County Veterans Service Commissions always have a lot of great yeah. things that they do give away yeah. and stuff. So yeah, so a huge crowd that day. Connie, anything else that you would like to share? What's your favorite thing about the fair? Oh, gosh. Your favorite my building favorite or whatever. Thing, your very favorite thing, and I will let you go. My very favorite thing is... That's pretty hard. The people uh -huh. and the memories. The people and the memories. Um, you know, for me growing up, the fair was our vacation. So the memory is those vacations, you know, yeah. and, and yeah. I, 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 that is, I think, what keeps me wanting to do the things I do. Yeah. It's the people and knowing that you can make a difference yep you know yep. with kids i love it yep. I, I love that and we love you yes for all the things <laughs> you help us do. And love you my goodness all the energy yeah. and all the time and things that you yeah. do and well totally. you know what here's the thing uh you got to be grateful for what you can do yes and if we can make a difference in the eyes of a child That's uh, right. just by a positive yep. little act then yeah. we ought to be doing it. That's right. They are our future. They are our all. future. So, Absolutely Connie, thank you so much. Connie Smith. Oh, folks. I love this. Thank, <laughs> thank you. you. Thanks, so, folks. Don't go anywhere. I've got somebody else coming up next. It's Down Home with Tina. Dagger Law has more than 110 years of experience in nearly every aspect of the law. When we're not just helping clients, we're helping the community. You'll see us at festivals, sporting events, and around town, because we live and work here too. We are your neighbors, and we want to help you when you need it. When we help each other, we're stronger. Our community is stronger. Creating a strong, vibrant, healthy, and safe community is everyone's responsibility, and we take the responsibility seriously. We are local, we are trusted, we are experienced.
Welcome back to Down Home with Tina. I have with me from Salvation Army Samaritan Center Adult Day Services. She is the Adult Day Service Director and Social Worker, Kelly Bauman. Hi, thanks for having me on. Absolutely. How are things going? Big four or zero is my understanding, by the way. Yes, so the Samaritan Center uh, is celebrating 40 years this year. So we opened in April of 1984 and we have continued to serve our community and we're um, proud to continue to meet the needs of yeah. families and, and participants who need some social connection. Yeah, yeah, and you've been doing it for again 40 years. Yeah. Have, how many years have you been there, Kelly? Over 20. You have been. Yeah. What's it been like and the difference from what it was then, 20 years ago, for, to now, today? You know, it's one of those things, as much as it's changed, it's stayed the same. The, yeah. the, the families, the needs, uh, caregiving is hard. And if we can come along families and support them in their journey, uh, we want to do that. I think the neat thing about our program is many of the staff are caregivers themselves or have been. Right. And so we see both sides. We know how difficult it can be. So is this only for families who have their loved ones that live with them or can their loved one live outside of the home on their own and then give this a place for them to go? Yes, all the above. We have okay. uh, people who attend who actually live independently mm -hmm. that are okay. coming to us for some social um, aspects. Um, yes. Um, you know, uh, and then families who want to work, families who just need a break, you know, yeah, and yeah. families who are you know down the road or down the a few counties over, they're yeah. seeking support for their family. I like to use myself as an example sometimes, and it was um, a family member at one time in my life that she was being cared for by her daughter and son-in-law and they happened to be going on a trip and it was just happening the the grandmother her life was changing and or the mother in, in this case and so they wanted to go on a vacation and i said well i'll take care of her wow wow i thought and it i don't regret a moment of my time with her because that was special time however the care that was given to her was more than I had ever expected, first of all, and I wasn't able to spend time with my children. Mm -hmm. So it is, it is something that can affect your children if it's a long-term situation from giving the, your children the care that they need. Do you not agree? I totally agree. It's hard to balance. Um, yeah. It's often called a sandwich. Yes. Care, you know, you're caring for your family and then you're either your older loved one or sometimes it's your spouse, but yeah, it's hard to juggle all that. And that, that's where our program then can come along and, and support that and give them a chance to breathe and regroup. And What is the criteria? It's an 18 and over program. Actually, most okay. of our folks are in their mid 70s, but we mm -hmm. have people a little bit younger and a little bit older. And it's really just somebody who needs support or wants support or um, needs some you know, encouragement or just yeah. some general supervision. Or That's it, they need general, general supervision. supervision. So what is uh, the limit to that? Do you, do, you know, can they be incognite? Are mm -hmm. there things like that that you can, they can? Mm -hmm. okay. Most care needs we can meet. If somebody is um, at risk to hurt themselves or others, we're probably not the best location for them. It's kind of beyond right. our care, care right. scope. Um, and then if somebody is uh, requiring a total lift. If they cannot stand up on their own at all, it's just not safe for our staff or that uh, participant Correct. for us to physically do that work. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But other, you can take d disabled mm -hmm. individuals. Mm -hmm. We have people who are uh, mobile in their wheelchairs, mobile okay. with walkers, mobile, okay. mobile with a cane or just without. Yeah. And we we do something to challenge the body every day. Uh, we so do I was just going to ask you, what is your program like yeah, when so they come in to your service for your services? So we we challenge the body every day, either with a chair volleyball or our own putt putt, our own cornhole, and then something to challenge the mind. Um, bingo! Believe it or not, can really challenge yeah. the mind. It's it's oh well, it's yeah, fun. You gotta, you gotta we're find. trying to have fun, but yet we're yeah. uh, making uh, making it fun, but then challenging, helping them keep that skill set that sometimes yeah. fades um, as we grow older or as the disease process yeah. takes control. Yeah, now do you do you offer breakfast and lunch and things like that to those who come in or do they bring their own? What's that kind of like? Well, they can, uh, but okay. we do offer like a toast coffee 
social hour in the morning. Hey, how was your night last night? And what did your neighbor do? And then we do have a luncheon meal. And then in the afternoon, we have a snack that kind of sends people off to tide them over until dinner. But we have people who like to pack their lunch. Okay. Um, the, they're very picky and very <laughs> routine about what they're eating. That peanut butter and jelly sandwich every day. Yeah. But, yeah. And that's okay. Right, it's okay yeah. meeting them where they are. So is it a set schedule? And if somebody signs up, they want your services, does it have to be every day, all day, Monday through Friday? We encourage people to have the same day or same routine. For consistency, for probably consistency. for them. For yes. them, for the staff. Gotcha, yeah. But we have uh, participants who are there one day a week, and we have okay. people who are there four days a week. And you prefer for a full day, do you, if they come, or can they come half a day? They can come half a day. Oh, okay. We can only okay. provide the transportation if you're coming a full day. Or oh, so you we provide, provide morning and after, morning, transportation. Mm -hmm. so. morning, after, morning transportation and afternoon. So okay. we pick them up for the day, bring them in for the fun and the uh, social opportunity, and then take them home in the afternoon. Okay. But we have families who want to provide that, who are dropping their loved ones off and okay. picking them back up in the afternoon. So how far do you, with your transportation, go? We're serving all of Fairfield County. We're in wow. Pickerington every day. Wow. We're over in the Amanda area. So we okay. are all over Fairfield County. How many can you have in your building at one day, in one day? Right now our capacity is 24. Mm -hmm. We do base that on our staffing. And okay. so currently our ratio is a one to six. So for every staff person, we take care of six participants. Okay. And so currently we're um, meeting the needs of 24 people a day up to. And then as that need continues to grow, we mm -hmm. will bring on more staff. It's that balancing act of having enough staff yes. <laughs> to meet <laughs> the needs, but having enough participants to, <laughs> to care, you know, to take care of the staff. So. Yeah, right, yeah. So how many do you have now? Do you need some participants or do you oh, have open spots? We do have availability. For the okay. first time, I think since the shutdown, <laughs> we, have, no, we don't no. have a wait list. <laughs> and so we're excited to, um, again, open our doors up to, to families and uh, people who need to use our program. Yeah, yeah, and who I think socialization for so many, even if they don't like it, sometimes they need, well, they. I think that we all always need socialization mm -hmm. of some sort. I agree, yeah. I agree. But it makes such a difference in, mm -hmm. um, in your overall well-being and your, and your mood, and yeah. everyone needs a sense of purpose, regardless of where they are with their need or their own abilities. Mm -hmm. We have people who come that are volunteering because they have something to give. They may help their neighbor with an activity um, that their neighbor struggles with, but they're yeah. very strong with. We have a piano, so we recently had somebody who joined us that uh, has a music degree, and so she is there, even though she needs a little more support, she and her is there to volunteer and to play music for us. Okay, so, we, so you have volunteer opportunities yeah, as yeah, well. How yeah. does that work as a volunteer? Um, and we just we need to meet with you. We need to make sure that the clerk's a clear background check. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but that's important. really depending on where your strengths are. If you want to be an entertainer, if you want to play checkers with somebody, if you want to help serve the the meal, we have a variety of needs that a volunteer can help us. And you know what? I'm totally getting off what we're talking about that. You have it's Adult Services Week. Is that what it is coming yes. up? Yes. So. Yes. In September, mm -hmm. there is a National Adult Day Service Recognition, okay. and our program celebrates that. And we nice. have a spirit week, if you will, uh -huh. and special entertainers from the community who are coming in to help us celebrate. Uh -huh. So September 16th, 17th, 18th, and 19th, there's something special. So if you're curious about Adult Day Services and want to know what is this all about, mm -hmm. please come in that week. And, okay. Uh, let us show you what we do, and then be entertained as well. That's right, yeah, why not? Yeah, yeah. try it out, see if it, because it could be, you never know what is out there until, you don't know, this is what I say all the time, you don't know what you don't know, mm, right. unless you ask mm -hmm. and, and seek and find out. So if there's a loved one, somebody's got a loved one that they're looking to need for them to spend some time doing something fun, yes. and yes, also giving a break to mm -hmm. you as the caregiver, this yes. is a great place to go. I agree. I've known Kelly for many, many years, folks, so you're in safe hands with Kelly Bauman. That's, well, yes. thank you. Well, you are thank very you. welcome. I like, have a great I'm team. I'm not just saying that, just to, you know, because yeah. I, I, I have, you are an amazing person and you have 
since we were in high school. You know how some people can be <laughs> in middle school and high school. <laughs> she's always been nice. <laughs> Thanks, Tina. <laughs> yeah, and she never a... gave me the grumpy or kicked me or hurt me or anything. <laughs> Call me names. I'm joking. Where is that going? I don't know. No. <laughs> no. I have a great yes, team. Our our you team is um, very kind and loving. Very cool. And your contact information? 740-687-1921 or at 228 West Hubert Avenue in Lancaster for now. Yeah. All right. Well, and we'll see. So thank you so much, Kevin. Thank you. Good luck, folks. Thank you so much. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. It's Don Homotino. For the last 30 years, I've worked in Fairfield County. The beauty of working in this county is it's small enough that you get to know people on an individual level, that you get to do what you, the kind of work you want to do personally, but it's large enough that we have some resources and we have some ability to bring coalitions together to make some bigger changes. You have the benefits of a suburban community and Columbus isn't too far away if you want to get that urban experience. Plus, if I ever feel like I need to get away for a little bit. There's tons of great hiking around here. Well, Fairfield County is just a really different county, so it's very resource rich. There are so many people in similar and overlapping helping fields. They make excellent community partners. We all know each other and we don't compete with each other. Like agency wide, we're all here to serve our clients. And you know someone everywhere, you know what I mean? Um, and so that I just feel like that helps it to get our clients the best care. So that's a big thing for me. Community, connections, collaboration. The Fairfield County Way. Downhill with Tina is brought to you by these amazing sponsors. Folks, I love the Fairfield County Fair. The Fairfield County Fair, it was back in 2010 where I had the opportunity to do radio and I never thought in a million years I would end up doing something like that. So I became a radio show host. Well, it just so happened to be the very first day of that and beginning my career in media was wanting to be at the Fairfield County Fair. And the reason why is because of all the people. And I love the fair because I am a people person for the most part, but sometimes I'm just like, okay, I don't want a people today. I don't even want an adult today sometimes, is what I say. But anyways, the feel of what we have in our community in the city of Lancaster and Fairfield County and coming together and being able to celebrate and enjoy all of the things that our youth get to learn and get to do. So I always ask that you go and support them and help them to learn and grow, the kids that is, and their different projects. Or if you want to have an entry for baking or, or gardening or things like that. I just suggest to do it because a great way to start is by starting at your county fair. It's been going on for hundreds of years. So you'll do that. But before I get out of here, I did want to share a positive quote with you. And it has to do with people. One of my youth at the multi-county juvenile detention center came up with a quote that was bad company corrupts good people. I think you can put that together and understand what I mean. I hope you have a great week. God bless. Thanks for watching the Downhill with Tina show. Good day.